Hello, Pokemon trainers! Welcome back to another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon guide video on iStarly TV. Today I'm going to show you how to get the special Surfing Pikachu in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon. And so, this is a rare Pikachu that you can get in the game that knows the, the exclusive move Surf. It's also holding the item Gold Bottle Cap, which is a very rare and very useful item in the game. So it's a very excellent prize. Now the, the way that you get Surfing Pikachu in this game, very simply, is by getting the top score in the Mantine Surf minigame on all four beaches, on all four islands. So of course, that means you're going to need to make it to uh, the, the last island in the game before you can unlock this rare event. So let's go ahead and try it out. I actually have the high score on the first three islands. Here we are on Pony Beach, on Pony Island of course, the last island. I have yet to achieve the high score here. So we're going to kind of try this out. I'm going to kind of just uh, do see, see if I can beat the high score on camera. Hopefully it won't take all that long, but I think I've kind of gotten the hang of the Mantine Surf. It's a lot of fun and I've gotten better at it, but at the same time I'm not like amazing at it. So we'll kind of we'll kind of walk through this together. And then I'll show you, once I beat the score, how to go about receiving the Pikachu. Okay, so here we are on Pony Island. Let's just go ahead and talk to the Mantine. I don't think it matters where you go as long as you're going from Pony Island. I think that's what counts here. So the high score right now, I didn't check it, but the high score is, I believe, like 58,000 on this beach. So I'm definitely going to have to pull off a lot of awesome moves. I'm going to have to avoid all of these obstacles when I can. Okay, cool. So yeah, we're just going to see if we can beat the score on screen. That would be awesome. Okay, yeah, I crashed into this. If I'm, I'm going to try a little bit. If I end up failing miserably, I'll, I'll just kind of cut ahead to when I beat the score because it's going to be somewhat tedious if, you know, I spend an hour trying to beat this score. You, you're not going to want to watch that. So <laughs> you definitely want to see the um, the Pikachu, so I'll be showing that regardless of whether I beat this score on screen or not. So here are some taller waves. The lantern uh, little move gives you more points on the taller wave, so we're going to kind of try to combo those off. I might have been able to get off a couple more moves there. Um, we have a little period here where, where there's not a lot of... Um, Let's combo that, sorry, where there's not a lot of obstacles, so we want to take advantage of that. Um, sorry, it's difficult for me to, oh man, I shouldn't have done that. It's difficult for me to comment and uh, do this difficult mini game at the same time. Of course, as you kind of uh, get further in the mini game, as you start kind of getting higher and higher scores, uh, there are a lot more obstacles. Oh man, okay. I don't know how I'm doing right now. I, I haven't been keeping track of how many points I've been getting. I've gotten a decent amount here. Let's try the Starmie one here. See if I can pull that off. I did. Nice. Okay, the Starmie one gives you a lot of points. Let's try to go through these obstacles, or around these obstacles, rather. Um, I still haven't established, like, the best tr tips and tricks, the best methods for the minigame here, but um, let's go ahead and do the Lantern one here. Lantern gives you more points on uh, bigger waves. Did I pull off two? Perfect. Okay. Uh, oh man, I knew that was going to happen. Okay. I think we're doing okay so far, but I don't know if we're on track to uh, beat the high score yet. I hope we do. That would be excellent. Alright. Uh, uh. Okay, cool. We picked up a lot of speed here. Let's go right here and let's try a couple pre-marina twists. At least one. I think we're going to... Nice, we're going to pull off two there. Okay, cool. Let's dodge the Sharpedo. I think we're doing okay. That would be awesome if I beat this on my first try, because I was really, uh, really not looking forward to trying to beat this score on screen. Nice. Good combos there. Okay. I mean, 58,000 is a lot of points. <laughs> Whoever got that score is pretty awesome. Okay. Let's go right here. I think this is... Oh, I, I think I should have done the lantern one there. Of course, these moves, by the way, you might be wondering... Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> You might be wondering why I have a lot of moves. Maybe I have some of the moves that you don't. Um, and that's because as you get the high scores on the different beaches, you kind of unlock new moves. So if you get the high score on the first beach, you unlock the Lantern 360. And then if you get the high score on the second beach, I believe you unlock the uh, Pre-Marina one. 
Okay, yeah, let's just kind of do that. Let's kind of avoid these obstacles here. Ooh, oh no, okay. We're almost at the end here, so we kind of want to make the most of it. I'm honestly not so sure what our score is looking like right now, so we're going to kind of find out together. I think I'm kind of close to beating it, but I, I, I feel like I haven't beaten it. I feel like uh, I'm going to need to try again here. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, this looks like a higher wave, so we're going to try the lantern uh, move here. See if we can pull off another one. And we do, nice, okay. Didn't give us too many points there, but um, gonna keep trying here. Oh man, oh, I was so close to dodging that. Come on, let us do this. Now, the Mad Team Surface is a fun mini game. It's a fun, uh, non-battling way to receive BP. So if you if you like the move tutors in these games, um, it's it's a very useful method. Like if you don't want to just grind out battles for hours on end. Oh no. Oh man. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. See if we can pull off another Starmie. No, we're not going to be able to. The, the end is right there. Let's see if we can pull off at least one more uh, trick. Uh. Nice, we did. Okay, okay. Here it is. Here is the moment of truth. This will determine whether we get the high score. Oh, we're so close. Okay. Uh, we're really close there, but again, I am not going to go an again on screen. I'm just going to go ahead and beat it however long it takes and then I'll come back and show my high score when I do. So I'll see you when I've beaten it. I did it! Yeah! Nice! Okay. Awesome. So it only took two tries. I got the high score, at least I think so, right? You're going to tell me that, right? We've got a new champion for the Pony Beach Surf Spa. Never thought any Mantine Surfer would ever appear who could beat the old champ. We've got something for a new champ like you. Alright, so you get a Comet Shard, which is awesome because you can sell it for a good amount of money. So, um, that, I mean, more money is never a bad thing. You get 10 beach points. I have a, a lot of beach points now, or BP. Uh, you should definitely swing by the local branch of the Surf Association. It's in Hea Hea City. So let's go on to Hea Hea City. So we are now in Hea Hea City, which is on the second island. I was going to deposit a Pokemon, but let's just kind of go, go right ahead. We want to see this awesome Pikachu. Let's do this. So you're going to talk to this young man with the pink shirt, this, this fine young man. I've heard about you, kid. You're the one who took the top rank spot in all four of Alola's surf spots. Congratulations, they call me the boss. I'm also a surfer beloved by the Mantine and the sea itself, but not as much as you. I've got the perfect Pokemon for you. I'll give you a Pikachu that knows surf. I hope you'll make it one of your partners. Of course. I've personally never, I know, I know there's been a few events and things with Pikachus that know surf, but I've personally never owned one. And so, uh, this is a, a pretty big moment for me, I guess. Oh wow, Pikachu's <laughs> information is added to the Pokédex, so I, I actually haven't caught a Pikachu on this game yet, so this is kind of awkward. <laughs> Alright, so let's read Pikachu's description. While sleeping, it generates electricity in the sacs in its cheeks. If it's not getting enough sleep, it will be able to use only weak electricity. So, I wish this Pikachu was... Um, was... What's it called? Uh, like, it, it looked different in a way, but it's okay. It's okay. So, let's take a look. It's adamant. That's not a good nature. But look at that. It knows the moves Nuzzle, Discharge, Slam, and Surf. It's at level 40. Mine is a female, personally. Um, but I, I think you could probably... You'll probably get a random Pikachu, you know, uh, with a different nature, different gender and stuff. I saved it right before this, so you could probably soft... Re you could probably save it before you receive it and then um, soft reset to actually get a nature that you want. So that's kind of cool. So you should go ahead and try that out and see if, see if that works, if you want a specific nature for your Pikachu. Uh, Pheromos has a King's Rock. Uh, we'll place it in the bag. Sorry, I just beat the Elite Four, so I have like my high-level Pokemon with me. Ooh, I know. And I'll teach you a trick I used to always use. Spin in each different direction in turn and see what happens. Try that and beat your own best record, kid. That's what I'd like to see you do now. 
Me and this Pikachu that knows fly will be cheering for you when you do. I wonder if that's like a little hint for like, oh, well, maybe there's a way that you'll be able to get a Pikachu with fly at some point. That'd be nice. Um, it's also just kind of like a little Easter egg, I guess. Anyways, we're going to try something out. Before we uh, use the Pikachu in battle, because I, I want to see how it looks in battle, we're going to try out probably the question that all of you will be having, which is, can this Pikachu evolve? I'm pretty sure I have a Thunderstone somewhere in here. Where's my Thunderstone? I thought I ha I'm pretty sure I have one. I have an idea. There we go. Oh, you can actually evolve it. Nice. Usually with these types of events, you can't, but... Like, there, there have been so many different event Pikachus over the year... Over the years that, um, usually... They, they lock the Pikachu so you can't evolve them, but you can actually evolve this one, I guess. You can have a Surfing Raichu. Um, it's going to be Alolan Raichu, which is kind of cool. Um, which also fits with Surfing, or, or with uh, Alolan Raichu, because Alol Alolan Raichu looks like it's surfing on its tail. So that's kind of cool. I think that fits really well. Alternatively, you can actually get regular Raichu in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon by going to the ultra wormholes and uh basically when you're in an ultra wormhole like where you catch the legendary pokemon it's it doesn't count as a lola because you're technically in another dimension so if you evolve a pikachu or a rattata or pokemon with alolan forms in that area they'll actually evolve into their cantonian forms so yeah let's test out our surfing raichu all right so we've just come over to some random route so we can test out our surfing raichu and let's see who our victim of the day is. It's a Graveler. That's pretty good for us because it's a rock type. So it's going to take a lot of damage from our Surf. And Raichu has pretty good special attack, pretty good speed. So this is actually a pretty cool Pokemon to have. Look at that. That's awesome. I like seeing this. That's really cool. All right. So, oh, it has Sturdy. Okay, so it's not dead yet. We get to use Surf again. Try that out. This shouldn't do a lot of damage since we do resist. Oh no, he's going to call for help, but I think Surf hits both Pokemon, correct me if I'm wrong, so let's let's find out. Okay, well, his help doesn't appear. Uh, this poor little Graveler doesn't have any friends. He, help, he yelled out to his friends to come and help him, but no one came. His family heard him, they didn't even come, so he's going to get destroyed. Sorry, Graveler, uh, we hardly knew you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that is how to get Surfing Pikachu in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. This Pikachu is able to evolve, so you can use your Thunderstones on it, and it'll know the rare move Surf. It's also awesome that it knows Surf, because Surf adds a lot of good coverage for Pikachu and Raichu. Um, you know, Electric is a pretty powerful type, but if, if you think about it, the types that Electric struggles against, such as maybe Ground, for example are weak to, to water, so Surf adds a little bit of extra kind of damage output for Raichu, and it has the Surge Surfer ability, so this is just perfect. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, and if you did enjoy it, and if you're excited to get your own Surfing Pikachu, definitely leave a like, and also please subscribe for more Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon content, sorry, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon content on iStarly TV. I'll continue to do awesome guide videos like this one very soon so have a happy holiday season happy thanksgiving if you celebrate it uh i'm recording this video the day before it'll probably go up around thanksgiving so happy thanksgiving thank you for watching see you soon